Living Corporate is brought to you by Textio. Today's top talent is everywhere, representing everyone. And our work environment should reflect the level of inclusion to meet that standard. Textio achieves this in building more equitable company cultures through the language we use in our job postings. That culture is formed one hire at a time, making the words we use to reach more diverse candidates all the more important. Our advanced language insights and employer brand content is what drives our mission of inclusion. Through our industry-leading application of artificial intelligence and machine learning, we're able to widen companies' reach in finding and building upon the very diverse talent that empowers a culture of belonging. Every door. What's going on, Living Corporate? It's Tristan, and I want to thank you for tapping back in with me as I provide some tips and advice for professionals. In this episode, I want to discuss the best time to schedule your job interview. When we get the call about interviews, we're usually caught off guard and really excited. We want to make sure we have enough time to gather our thoughts and prepare, so we schedule our first interview a week out. Makes sense, right? Well, when we do that, we are actually allowing our competition to get a huge advantage in the interview process. The people who are able to choose a sooner time, like the next day or two, may do well during their call, and if the hiring manager is available, they may schedule the next interview within another day or so. This means that by the time you get to your first interview, others may have already gone through two rounds of interviews, and the company may be considering extending an offer. But here you are at level zero. Moral of the story is, timing is everything, and I suggest you choose the soonest day possible to schedule your interview. While we're at it, let's talk about the best time of day to schedule your interview. I usually suggest to get a time between 10 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. Since it's early in the day, your interviewer is more likely to be fully present instead of just going through the motions. It allows you enough time to get to the interview destination without the stress of rush hour traffic and isn't too late in the day where your anxiety may get the best of you while waiting. While these two things may not guarantee a one-up over your competition, you don't want to progress slower throughout the process or be counted out because your interviewer had the itis and couldn't pay attention. This tip was brought to you by Tristan of Layfield Resume Consulting. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Layfield Resume, or connect with me, Tristan Layfield, on LinkedIn. This episode of Living Corporate is brought to you by Blind. Blind is a trusted community of more than 5 million verified professionals from startups to some of the largest companies in the world, like Amazon, Deloitte, Ernst & Young, Goldman Sachs, Google, J.P. Morgan, Meta, and more. Blind's mission of transparency seeks to break down professional barriers and silos at work so that you can make productive change and advance your career. It's a safe space to ask questions and get the real-time insights and perspectives from people who know what you've been through. On Blind, you can connect and have honest discussions about everything from compensation, company culture, performance reviews, promotions, and more. You can also join your exclusive private company channel to chat with your coworkers about company policies and what's really going on at work. And because it's anonymous, you can be honest and trust what you read all blind. Download and install Blind from the App Store or visit teamblind.com to get access to the latest salary, company reviews, and interview experiences at thousands of companies worldwide.